So I'm making bagels from scratch. I've only made 200 so far. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Matt, a Tasty Producer, and today I want to find out if it's worth making your own bagels at home or if you should just buy them from the store. So I'm going to prep my ingredients and get started. I buy most of my bagels from the grocery store, so for this first comparison I've decided to use the brand that I usually get. It's pre-sliced and consistently good, which is really all you can ask for from a pre-packaged bagel. My second comparison bagel comes from a well-rated bakery here in Los Angeles. And yeah, I know New York has some of the best bagels in the world. Luckily, most of the reviews said that these were the closest thing they'd had to a New York-style bagel outside of New York. And honestly, I kind of agree with them. They were made fresh the day I bought them, and they looked and tasted amazing. This homemade recipe was developed by our food coordinator, Alexis, and was tested many, many times by both of us. And I mean so many times. You have no idea how many bagels I made. Bagels are deceptively simple looking. Sure, they don't require that many ingredients, but there are tons of ways for things to go wrong, and I know because I messed up so many times. Speaking of mistakes, you cannot substitute for bread flour. You need that nice gluten development to get the right consistency and texture. Because of that, do not consider kneading the dough by hand. The quickest way is with a food processor. If you try to knead it with your hands, it'll take close to a half hour to reach the right consistency. You're not making bread, so the dough should not be moist and gooey. It should be a bit firm and very, very stretchy like a rubber band. But don't overknead, or you'll end up with really dense rings. Boiling is how bagels get their shine and chewy texture. Now, I use barley malt syrup for color and flavor. The water tray is optional, but I found that whenever I used it, my bagels cooked more evenly and didn't burn as badly. Once your dough is ready, feel free to divide it into six or eight pieces, keeping them as uniform as possible. You can use a scale if you really want to be specific about the sizes of them. Now, this is not the official bagel forming technique that professionals use, so this method is what worked best for me given the constraints that I had. You're basically working the dough so that the surface stretches tight and the seam on the bottom gets as small as possible. Poke a little hole through it and gently stretch the ring out, rotating as you go. Make sure to take your time. If you go too quickly, you'll tear the dough and it'll burst open in the oven. And I'm gonna be real, this step is exhausting. It's a real arm workout, but persevere, it's totally worth it in the end. Now I boil my bagels for about 30 seconds aside. However, if you want chewier bagels, you can let them go for up to a minute. Just don't let them go for too long or they'll overcook. An egg wash is optional, but it guarantees the bagels will be shiny and golden brown on the outside. Plus, it's how you get the toppings to stick. And you can use whatever toppings you want. Feel free to experiment, have a little bit of fun. Sesame and poppy seeds are good enough for me though. And that's it, you've made bagels. They're best if you eat them right away. Within a day, they'll get pretty stale. It's a lot of work, but if everything goes right, I promise you'll be proud of the bagels you've made. So how did the bagels stack up? The store-bought bagels are the cheapest, but barely beat out the bakery ones. The homemade ones are the most expensive, which makes sense given the cost of the syrup and yeast and all the ingredients. The store-bought and baker-style bagels are also the most time efficient, taking a matter of minutes to prepare, while the homemade ones take hours. Store-bought and bakery are also the least challenging. All you have to do is toast and top. It took 16 practice batches for me to feel confident making bagels from scratch. The store-bought and bakery bagels are much easier to clean up after as well. Homemade bagels require mountains of equipment and cookware that need cleaning. But ultimately, it all comes down to taste. In a blind taste test, my coworkers favored the bakery and homemade bagels for their balance of flavor and texture. So, should you make your own bagels at home? No, absolutely not. If you like a challenge, by all means, go for it. I'm proud of myself for tackling this, but they take way too much time and effort to justify making on a regular basis. Store-bought is great, it's convenient and consistently good, but nothing beats a bagel from a bakery. 
They're fresh and chewy and delicious, and by buying them, you're helping support a local business. And I think that's the best way to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, that one.